Welcome back, Rams. I'm not Kira Coles. I'm Litos Castro, but that's all, that's all right. No worries. Your favorite entertainment anchor is here, so let's get started. If you use Netflix, it's possible you might not be so chill right now. Netflix has decided to increase the prices of some of their services. The standard service, which allows viewers to stream up on two screens at once, is now priced at $10.99, a whole $1 up from the previous $9.99 price. The premium service, which allows viewers to stream up onto four screens at once, had an even crazier increase to $13.99, an entire $2 up from $11.99. <sighs> but no need to worry. If you're just on the basic service, which allows streaming on only one screen, then you can in fact chill because the price for that will remain at $7.99. Now let's take a look into the world of cinema. First off, Star Wars fans can get excited because tickets for Star Wars The Last Jedi have gone on sale. If you're planning to see the new movie in December, you can get a head start on those who wait to buy their tickets later on. Next, superhero fans might have something to think about as a new trailer for Justice League was released on Sunday and Superman was in the trailer. Granted, it just seems to be Superman's love, Lois Lane, having a dream about him. Nonetheless, he is in the trailer, which could suggest that in some way, Superman will have an impact on this movie. Yes, the rest of the league is in the trailer too, but, but come on, it's Superman. Ugh. Anyways, Justice League is set to hit theaters next month, November 17th. And finally, another big trailer was also released this weekend for the new movie Pacific Rim Uprising. The sequel to the original Pacific Rim had its first footage released last Friday. In the trailer, viewers find John Boyega, who is popular for his performance in Star Wars The Force Awakens, starring in the role of Jake Pentecost, a leader in the fight for humanity's survival against the new monsters that threaten the world. You can catch this action-packed title in theaters March 23rd, 2018. If you haven't heard, the Rocky Mountain Collegian is trying to find the best of CSU, so I decided to do a little research of my own. I'm here at Colorado State University trying to find out where the best food spots are here in Ram Country. Get pizza, Cosmos. I love Cosmos pizza. <laughs> oh, I would say probably Bojo's. It's just been always like a family spot for me, so. Pizza Hut. I like Pizza Hut. Crazy Carl's, hands down. You have your science building? Happy Lucky's Tea House. Alley Cat Cafe is really good. Library and the Lord Student Center. That's a tough one. Uh, I gotta say the uh, top floor of AB. Dorel, that's normally my go-to. Allison's nice because it has spoons. The Lord Student Center, since it has, I mean, many restaurants. You can get good ones at Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. From the Crazy Cars. Yeah. If you want to give your opinion on what the best places in town are, head online to collegian.com forward slash best of to cast your vote. In other entertainment news, a man from Missouri proposed to his girlfriend with the help of a giraffe. That's right, you heard me correctly. Cody Hall took his girlfriend, Michaela Blakey, on a behind the scenes tour of the giraffe enclosure. But little did she know that Cody and zoo officials had been working on a surprise proposal for weeks. The ring was hung around the neck of a giraffe named Millie. Cody removed the ring while Michaela was feeding Millie leaves and proceeded to propose. So why this kind of proposal? Cody says, quote, giraffes are her favorite animals and I really wanted to give her an experience she wouldn't forget. Well, Cody, I'm sure she won't forget it, and I hope you, Michaela, and Millie have a happy life together. In local news, CSU is gearing up for homecoming weekend. The weekend is a great opportunity to welcome loved ones into Ram Country and show them what CSU is all about. Events kick off as early as tomorrow night with the homecoming comedy show featuring Dr. De Guzman and Ishma Laut Lautfi. On Friday, there will be a festival, festival on the Oval, a homecoming parade, and a bonfire, plus lighting of the A. If you're into all of that cardio stuff I hear about, like, I don't know, running, um, then Saturday you can participate in the annual 5K run. Homecoming weekend will conclude with an alumni association tailgate followed by the CSU versus Nevada football game. 
Kickoff is at 8.15. Well, Rams, have a fun and safe homecoming weekend, and remember that Rams take care of Rams. Good night, CSU.